Hello everybody. This is Alex Pussy One Thousand, and I'm doing a uh, my I'm doing my second tutorial on the TechKit servers. Um, so first one was for version 1.0.0. So today I'm going to do, be doing it for 1.4.6. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, first, you're going to want to go to the site, which is obviously TechNetPack.net. And wait for that to load, and then you're gonna want to go Ticket Light. There's different mod packs. There it is. There is a Ticket Classic. You can want Ticket Light, or else it won't really work. So, actually, it will work. It's just it's gonna be an older version of Tech Ticket. So yeah, download your your Ticket server Light. Ticket light server. Uh, close that and, and save it wherever you want to save. I save my usually all my stuff in downloads. So go to wherever you saved it. Create a new folder. I'm gonna call mine. It really doesn't matter where it is neither either. Uh, drag all this in here. And yeah, so this is the part where last video most people had more mo most problems. Um, you're gonna wanna click on the launch once, right click it, and go edit. And then there's this code here that is not a good code. I, it, it just it used to not work for me until I made modifications, big modifications on my computer, and it probably won't work for most of you. So what you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna go to craft bucket. Dot org. That's where you're gonna want to. Oh, I need this not site. Oh, sorry, it's buckets. Dot org. Never mind. Not craft bucket. And then you're gonna want to get. I know we're. Gonna, you're gonna want to go get craft bucket. And it's gonna show this code here for Windows. And you're gonna want to control C or just copy it. Uh, get rid of this and go control V. Make sure I'm saying repeating. Make sure you change this to tech it light or if you name this just just cut it that name there so tech it light dot jar um you're gonna I like I prefer to do this most of you know it's not necessarily easiest, so just ignore this part uh one G is just easier for me to read. Uh, also this is the part actually I should say this is the part that has the most 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 trouble with everything. Java if you do not do this step properly, you will have a thing that'll say, you'll the black screen when you start it will say, cannot create Java virtual machine or something like that. So what you're gonna want to do is find where you install Java. For me, it's in OS or hard drive C. Uh, program files. I'm just saying it might be in any of them. Mine's in program files. This might be in program files. In six. Just, just go there. Um, Java. Not, if you have GDK, I do not recommend you using G GDK. I'm actually, never mind, just don't use it at all. You, you, use either GR6 or GR7. I have GR7, uh, so GR7, then you're going to want to click here, and you're going to want to go right click, copy. Uh, here, we're going to want to replace it, so control V, which is paste. And then you're going to want to do is slash. The, the right slash, don't do like normal slash you would in Minecraft to use a command. It's a different slash. And type in java.exe. And make sure you don't do these, uh, I don't know what they're called, but just make sure you go do those or else it won't work. It'll say, can't, uh, does not recognize command. Um, yeah, we see also, I don't, that shouldn't be there, so if it's there, just, just, just remove that. Yeah, so save that, launch it, and it should work. Now, um, you're going to have to set up a port if you want, like a public server, you want to set up a port, which I, I'm not going to show you guys, because I just, just, you know, can't really access my internet right now, it's kind of bugged and stuff, so, uh, which I'm just going to do with the launching. So I have this here. 
my Hamachi. Uh, this is my Hamachi IP. So I am going to want to make sure, wait till that's done. Well, that's, well, that's loading actually. Double click on server. Um, if you op happen to open, open this one up, just find the other one in the server and open that one. Um, yeah, you're going to want to keep the port. Uh, level C, do whatever you want, but you're going to have to delete the world to get that C. Max build height, you can change that. I've never done, so I don't know if it's bad or not. I really didn't. I don't know. Uh, max players, change, you can change that. Difficulty, whatever. Uh, server IP. So what you're going to want to do for Hamachi is... I'm going to copy IPv4 or just simply type those numbers, the first numbers into here. And then you just want to want to do save and close that and then uh, type in stop. And there you go, I should stop the server. I wouldn't really press X. I, I just, I have an old friend that told me not to do that. I never knew, I know, I don't know why, he just told me not to do it. And then you're gonna wanna launch it again. And then it should say to start. Um, Starting Minecraft server on 25.6. Okay, don't worry, this should not happen to you. It happened to me because I have a Technic server on right now. Uh, no, Technic, the, 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 not Techit, but Technic. I have a LAN server going on. Stupid things in my face right now, but uh, I have a LAN server right now, like I said. Yeah, I make that though. Um, so that's why I cannot bind to port. Uh, but it should be good for you guys. If you have any problems, um, look in the description. The downloads will be all there. And hopefully, 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 the my Skype name will be there. I'm not sure if I'm going to put it yet. But it should be there. Uh, so yeah, if you need help, send a request, send a friend request in my Skype, and make sure you type in the reason uh, in the request. So, uh, thank you, uh, and have a nice day.